So here's the new Echo 58 volt cordless trimmer. It's got the detachable head on it, but Echo has a proprietary size and a proprietary placement of their locating pin that's different from most of the other trimmer attachments on the market. I wanted to put one of these jobs on my Echo trimmer, but it was not made specifically for Echo. What I ended up doing, because the size of this shaft is only a millimeter or less bigger than the input shaft of the Echo. I first tried to just file off all the paint, which helped somewhat, but I still wasn't able to fit this in. Of course, I had to drill a locating hole to put the pin in. That's a quarter inch. But, after watching somebody else's video, I realized that the best way to make the shaft a little bit smaller was to cut a slit down the side of it. I used my Dremel tool uh, carbide cutting wheel to cut down. Now, to here, where the paint starts, is about two inches. But you have to go a little bit farther than that because you need to have this part of the shaft be able to compress a little bit. I'm leaving a smudge here because I also used just a little bit of oil to make sure that this slides inside the shaft housing properly. So it'll fit in here real easy. Do not cut or modify this. This is a cast metal. It's very soft and very brittle. If you try to modify this, you're going to end up cracking it before anything else. I don't know if I can do this one-handed very well or not. Got my echo attachment. Hold on one second. Using my other arm to hold the trimmer here. I'm able to push it in. The pin is already pulled out properly. Right. It's a little easier with two hands because I'm trying to take a video at the same time. It's a little rough. Snap. There goes my pin. It's located. And I can tighten it down. There you go. Right over the attachment on Echo 58 volt or any other attachment that takes this kind of universal thing. You can cut a slit, drill a locating pin, shave off some of the paint just for good measure. I put this in my vise just a tad bit to try to push it down. It didn't really make much of a difference, but make sure I get any burrs or whatever off the edge end of this before you slide it in. And I was just using this for the past half hour to blow off my driveway. Works fantastic. So there you go. Ryobi attachment on Echo 58 volt tools.